It's never easy to win on the road in the NBA, and by the look in the eyes of the Orlando Magic players, they know they've got a job ahead of them. Traffic heading in and out of downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota. The setting for our broadcast tonight. Welcome and good evening. We welcome you to our Monday night broadcast of the NBA here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony giving us the rundown from the sideline courtside, David Aldridge. Here's what the Minnesota Timberwolves have lined up on their schedule. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge on the sideline. David? Thank you very much, Kevin. Well, Cole Anthony has made a name for himself when it comes to hitting cold-blooded game winners. He said, I do this, man. I was bred for this. I'm not the type to go high. I live for these ending moments in games. Crunch time, that's my time. I just like his dad right next to me. David, thank you very much. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Greg, their spirits are running sky high right now. And it's such a great feeling to come out strong. But it's hard to maintain that consistency. The teams that do, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strength. A look at the Magic starting group. Isaac and Carter are manning the post position. Suggs out there at Terrence Ross. And it's Wagner in at the small forward position. And for the Timberwolves. The backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Here we go. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Prince. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the three, the small forward. Now, here's Suggs. He's guarded by Russell. Isaac outside. Ross against Edwards. Just five to shoot. Minnesota with the ball. And here is Hernan Gomez. Here's Towns. Count that one. Towns has got the opening basket of the game for Minnesota. Well, takes contact, keeps his balance. Nice finish by Towns. Now, Ross... Now the pass to Suggs. And that shot misses everything. Air ball on the three. So the Magic, their last game, a win against the Pistons in Detroit. And out of bounds is the Magic will gain possession. So it's Orlando now. First quarter, just over a minute played. Good on the bucket. And then once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Magic have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Ross. Edwards with the block. Man, the athleticism of Edwards helping on defense. Capable of getting up to block shots. And Russell gets it to go. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. And Doris, we know that Anthony Edwards has given numerous head-turning quotes, but that's just who he is. That's right. One of the most candid players in the league. Caught some media off guard when he said he saw himself as a football player. But this guy's got big-time personality. No good from Henning Gomez. Orlando's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Ross. And Ross with the slam. Boy, a burst of speed from Terrence Ross. And his athleticism shining on that particular drive. Edwards passes to Russell. He dishes it to Towns. The Timberwolves working the ball around. Now. No good from Henning Gomez. 
And so it's Ross. He brings it up for Orlando. It's their first chance this season playing the Timberwolves. And one of the few bright spots of their last season was sweeping the season series in this matchup. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. Wendell Carter unable to get his last shot to go. To the middle. Here's Russell. Rebound by the Magic. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Now here's Ross. Isaac outside. Passes to Ross. Let's the three fly, and it's blocked. Victorian Prince is the kind of length and speed to close the gap and send it back. What a block. Unloads from 13. He can't get it to go. The Magic go the other way with it. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. Well, how about the job they got from their bench? That productivity was a major part of the outcome. Now here's Edwards. Jalen Suggs unable to get his last shot to go. Isaac using every bit of that 6'10 frame to send it back. Ross against Edwards. Pass to Suggs. Here's Isaac. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Here's Hernan Gomez. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Outside Russell. Pass to Towns. To stop the drought. Here's the three. Four on the clock, and Russell with the basket on the assist by Towns. Well, it's key that you've got to maintain concentration throughout the game. And D'Angelo Russell, nice job in the catch and shoot. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. And Towns does so many things well on the floor, Doris, but you can't forget about his rebound. Right, this guy puts up huge rebounding totals every night. You can pencil him in for double digits every night on the backboards. This guy can anchor your team's rebounding. Let's go to the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that blocked the most shots in the NBA last year. In the third spot, the Timberwolves. Well, talk about rim protection. Last season, they were patrolling the paint, rejecting shots at will. And there's the pass to Wagner. Puts it up. Misses off the right iron. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Well, missed opportunities, and they can certainly add up. You cannot afford to take that kind of shot. Now here's Towns. This game we saw him score 14. Trains it from beyond the arc. Well, it's important that D'Angelo Russell keep making shots from deep. This is an aspect of his game he's starting to sharpen. Here's Suggs. Coming off a stellar performance against Detroit. Here's Wagner. Minnesota with the rebound. Towns has got rebound number five here tonight. Prince dishes to Russell. Goes up on the wing. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. One of the hardest things to deal with with Torian Prince is trying to match his energy. This guy goes all out every time. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And last season, 86% from the line. So he's always had that calm presence at the line, no matter the situation.
and he makes the first. And you watch Torian Prince and how valuable he is to his team for a couple of reasons. Number one, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He defends at a high level, and he can really stretch the floor. Markel Fultz has checked in for the Magic. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. And while he's dealt with injuries, I still have enjoyed watching the growth of Jonathan Isaac. The guy entered the league, everyone knew he could be a shot blocker, but he does so much more defensively. Now here's Ross. He had 10 points in the win against the Pistons in Detroit. Clock is at three. And that time, also a missed shot. And already, they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. You know, Greg, you got to agree the defense isn't the only area where Jonathan Isaac is improved. And, and no question, Kevin, his offense has developed as well. He's becoming a more confident scorer, steadily increasing his output on that Jonathan end. Yeah, the defender all over him. It's his first trip to the line. So, and, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. Free throw good. Hernan Gomez. Minnesota making a switch here. Reed's checked in. The Magic also changing it up. Lopez, he's checked in for Wendell Carter. Bamba comes in for Terrence Ross. And Anthony subbed in for Suggs. And he can't hit the second. The Magic trail by eight. Driving to the basket. And there's Fultz on the assist by Isaac. Well, tremendous understanding from the young Jonathan Isaac. How about that awareness for the young guy? Russell passes to Towns. Outside, Edwards. Back to Russell. Fires for three. Can't hit that one. Orlando's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Here's Fultz, and he makes good on the layup. And now just a four-point Timberwolves lead. One of the keys as a perimeter player is always stay focused through contact. Markel Fultz makes that shot despite the physical contact. Here's Russell, and it's sent back by Isaac. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for the Magic. Passes it to Fultz. Fires from the wing. And it's Orlando with another. Well, a welcome sign for sure. When Markel Fultz is making this kind of shot, it opens up the offense. Russell inside. Covered by Anthony. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Muhammad Bamba. And Doris, the last few years for Russell, what has seen a lot of turnover and change for that young man. You know what? That can really slow down a player on the court more than you think. Last handful of years, Russell has changed teams and coaches several times, and yet he has still continued to be a factor on the floor. And the first one drops. What we know about D'Angelo Russell is this guy is a dynamic, aggressive scorer. The key is he's got to extend his minutes playing under control. If he does that, lights out. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Malik Beasley comes in for Hernan Gomez. And it's Noel in for Edwards. So he gets them both. Here's Fultz. And he also played a big role in that last game with Detroit. Oh. 
and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, you love that Mark Cole Fultz has the ability to draw the defense's hand and get himself to the foul line. The Magic shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. The first free throw is good. Well, think back to the 2017 draft, guys. Some were surprised to see Markel Fultz be the first pick. And when you think back on that draft, there's certainly a lot of what-ifs. Akogi's checked in for D'Angelo Russell. And so Fultz nails them both. So for the Timberwolves, their last game, a win against the Nuggets. Yeah, they really snuffed that one out. Didn't execute all that well. Fortunate to walk away with the W. Yeah, but as a team, you actually love a win like that. You're struggling from the field. You don't have your best stuff. Still, you find a way to gut out a win. Orlando trailing here. Anthony, the pass to Isaac. to the paint here's Bamba he nails it and we're tied up well what a job by Mo Bamba to get to his area get on the interior pick your spots Mo Bamba does just that easily outside pass to Vanderbilt here's Noel he's been quiet so far still no points in the game Great offensive performance they're putting on. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in the zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Fultz with the ball. He's got eight. Takes it inside. He feeds it to Bamba. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. Bamba. And the Magic lead by four. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Isaac with the steal. And there's a minute 45 left here in the opening quarter. And Jared Vanderbilt gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. Fultz the pass to Isaac. And Isaac throws it down. Well, Markel Fultz continues to develop his floor awareness. Passes like that will create all kinds of chemistry. Timeout called first of the game for Minnesota. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster.
Daniels passing it around. Beasley against Fultz. Shot to stop the run. No good from Beasley. Orlando leading by six. Here's Anthony. Bamba kicks to Anthony. Three-pointer. And he stays with it. Bangs on the trifecta. Anthony's got his second bucket of the night. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Beasley, the pass to Okogi. To the inside. Here's Noel. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. 40 seconds left here in the first quarter. Outside Anthony. Into the lane. And it's Anthony with the jam. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Boy, it's incredible how much explosive scoring ability can come from the lead guard position. That is a big-time play. Pass to Noel. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Both teams will make substitutions. Magic leading by nine. Outside Anthony. Fires the three. Here's Lopez. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. You know, hats off to him for staying active inside. Lopez just creating his own offense. Here's Noel. And so it's Orlando. Holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of the points coming right at the rim. We come back right after this. folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the match really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys well they've established their presence in the paint tonight also and a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far Timberwolves trail by 11 and so in the game for the magic they've got Bamba Markel folds out there with Anthony. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Wagner in at the three slot. For three, Beasley. Shot clock reset for the Timberwolves. Bamba with the block. I'll tell you, the kind of lockdown defender Mo Bamba can be. Send it back, young man. Now, here's Wagner. Guarded by Reed. Fultz. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. And a lot of players want a voice in team strategy. And I've always wondered, Greg, is there a downside for coaches letting their players get too involved? I mean, there is a belief that you can have too many cooks in the kitchen, right? But if a player knows his stuff, it's worth at least hearing them out, if only to keep those open lines of communication. Orlando with the ball after the basket by Minnesota. There's the pass to Wagner. Anthony in the corner. Six to shoot. And that one hits back iron. And this is a shot he can definitely make. And the defense not a factor at all. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, the basket guy still shaking. Anthony, the pass to Fultz. Out to the right wing. And here's Wagner. 14 points from him. The last game against the Pistons in Detroit. Timberwolves trail by nine. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alton. Thank you, Kevin. It's ironic that while the league took refuge in Orlando to complete the 2020 season, 
The Magic has had no reprieve from the rash of injuries that affected its top young players in the last few years. This team is well coached and plays hard. Hopefully their fortunes will change when it comes to health. Time out, time out. All right, David, thank you. And the Timberwolves call time here. Good timing. They're really struggling offensively. Sometimes it just feels like misses become contagious. He wants to settle his guys down right now. Timberwolves. Then for the Magic. Carter, he's checked in for Lopez. Terrence Ross comes in for Fultz. And it's Suggs in for Anthony. Prince dishes to Edwards. Russell passes to Towns. Shoots from the line. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Carl Anthony Towns reading the situation and finding an opportunity in the mid-range. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Carter drives in. And Wendell Carter Jr., not the biggest center, Greg, listed at 6'10". In fact, most reports would have him pegged at 6'9". And, and Carter Jr. plays like a seven-footer. Got that 7'4 seven wingspan and, and great head on his shoulders that levels the playing field with his height. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. on the second free throw. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. Russell with it. And it's Carter picking him up. Towns for three. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Suggs with the ball. Edwards there. A terrific effort by Towns. Sticks with the play and sends it back. Good on that shot. And with that, the Magic lead has kept down now to just eight points with the basket from Prince. Magic have gone two of five in the field here in the second quarter, shooting 40%. Carter outside. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Six on the shot clock. Magic moving the ball around. Wagner cans the shot from the wing. Wagner's got his first bucket in this one. Yeah, great anticipation of where the open man was going to be. And Terrence Ross finds him immediately. That's really pretty. Here's Russell. Happy to see that one go in. He's shooting four for ten with that basket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Suggs kicks to Ross. Passes it to Bamba. Now, Wagner. Down low. Here's Carter. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And the Magic lead by 10. Minnesota's gone 0-2 from deep here in the center. Outside, Russell. 
Yes, it is. Boy, that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. Well, to me, this is where D'Angelo Russell distinguishes himself. He understands that when he can score it, he's going to be aggressive. And that one goes out of bounds. As touched by Prince. to Sun. Pass to Ross. Shot clock at five. Inside. Bamba drops in the layup for two. Bamba's got eight points. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Now, here is Russell. D right on him. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Suggs passes to Ross. Pass to Wagner. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Outside, Russell. And he drives in. Combo with the block. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. Isaac's checked in for the match. And fit. Shot clock at six. Now, here is Russell, guarded closer. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Now, Ross. And the pass to Suggs. Prince against Isaac. Over Prince. Isaac misses. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Edwards passes to Russell. Here's Towns, and it's sent back by Carter. How about the anticipation from Carter Jr.? Has a strong sense for when to go after that block shot. Prince against Ross. Prince kicks to Russell. Passes it to Towns. Towns is double. Russell with a wide-open look. Good, and the assist goes to Towns. Towns has got three assists in the game. Now, here's Sugg. To the paint. And the layup's good off the glass. Suggs has got his second basket. Just no resistance inside at all. They are timeout, feasting. Timeout. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's Sorry. a big one. And load the plate. And the Timberwolves call time here. Greg, talk about a guy who plays with competitive fire. Suggs is a powerful leader, but by example. Yeah, I mean, this guy plays with such great strength and energy, and he makes great decisions, really has an advanced understanding of the game for his age. Some changes here for the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt's checked in for Torian Prince. And Akogi subbed in for Juan Hernan Gomez. Now here's Towns. Akogi, the pass to Russell. To the inside. Here's Towns. 
And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. Well, beautifully done by Towns, using the up fake to bait the defender. For Minnesota, they have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. The free throw drops for Towns. Well, a seven-footer who's got guard-like skills, who can shoot the lights out. Carl Anthony Towns is a problem, guys. And Towns drops them both. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Here's Suggs. Carter outside. Ross on the wing. Lock at six. Looking to get back on track here. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And, and it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Suggs with the ball. Here's Isaac. Nails the baby hook. Isaac. And the Magic lead by nine. This is encouraging to see Jonathan Isaac finish through contact. He obviously will fill out that frame and add some weight, but the balance really impressive. Now, here is Russell. He's coming off a 34-point game against Denver. Outside, Edwards. Russell left side. Offensive rebound, controls the rebound, and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Pass to Wagner. And stolen by Russell. That's tipped. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now it's only a five-point magic lead. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Now, here's Sharp. He's guarded by Russell. Vanderbilt with the block! Here's a Kobe. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Now, here's Wagner. He's guarded closely, and the shot goes in. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Russell looking it over. He kicks it to Edwards. Carter against Towns. Five on the clock. Here's Edwards. Oh! Oh! oh. Gracious. About Whoa. that finish. Oof. Wow. And what a creative finisher. Edwards is so fast in how he gets up to throw it down. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile time one time block. Out. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that.
still making some changes. Robin Lopez is checked in for Carter. Fultz comes in for Wagner. And Anthony's subbed in for Suggs. So it's Orlando now. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Sometimes you just have an off day, and this is one of those games for him. Pass to Culver. And Jarrett Culver gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. 135 left to play here in the half. Pause. That's good. And the Magic lead by seven. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Here's Lehman. He's covered by Isaac. Reed kicks to Culver. The pass to Noel. Six to shoot. From past the arc. And they recover it. And here's Culver. Down to five on the shot clock. Makes it off the glass. Culver's got his first two points of the night. Boy, how quick did Culver use that screen? Defense didn't have a chance to adjust on time. Anthony, the pass to Isaac. Back to Anthony. A three ball. The Magic getting another chance here. And that one's good by Lopez. You know, that's good hands on display from Lopez right there. Getting it up and down from inside. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Noel passes to Culver. Takes it from 10. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Count it. Good. Jonathan and now Isaac. a nine-point Orlando lead. And at 6-11, Isaac's able to take a hit and still get the deuce. The 11-footer. The shot will not fall. And so it's Orlando. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. We've got more in store for you right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A tremendous start for Markel Fultz. He had 10 points, 2 assists, and 2 rebounds. Shaq, what do you think about the Magic? Love how hard they're going at it on the offensive board, showing some real tenacity every time a shot goes up. They carve out this lead because of their aggressive mindset. Don't expect that to change in the second half. Kenny, let's get your input on the Timberwolves. You can point to their long-range shooting as the main problem there. They're taking a lot of threes, and their percentage is hovering in the low 30s. That's too cold. 30 degrees, you need a jacket for that. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. The backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Friends out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the three. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Magic leading by nine. Now Ross. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Towns. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. Hernan Gomez kicks to Russell. to Hernan Gomez. A three-pointer, no good. 
And then they continue to control the glass. Here's Wagner. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Wagner's got the first bucket of the third here for the match. Up top, Russell. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. He can't get that one to fall. Now here's Ross. Here's Wagner. No good on the triple. Prince outside over Carter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Two shots. Foul. Two. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting two. And that one falls for Prince. And both free throws good for Prince. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Here's Suggs. Nice D from Russell. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. Down low. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Isaac with some nice D. Wow, another empty possession out of the gates. 0 for 4 in this half. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Magic shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That one is off. make the second free throw either. Listen both. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. He's guarded closer. Russell against Ross. Good on that shot. And with that, the Magic lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Russell. After an ugly 0 for 4 to start the half, they get one to fall. Now, here's Sun. Carter with it. Shoots over Towns. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Herman Gomez has got his fourth rebound in this one. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five. Brick after brick. Let's start building the building. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Carter outside. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one is on Towns. And he's a crafty, kind of an old-school big. Carter Jr. knows how to keep defenders off balance. The magic of it after free throws in this one, going three of six so far. Good from Carter. Muhammad Bamba, he's checked in for Jonathan Isaac. Oh, 
Good on both. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Hernan Gomez passes to Edwards. Shoots over Wagner. Edwards with another miss. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Boss with the steal. Throws up. And the jam by Ross. How about that? Tremendous defense leading to points. Ross stays alert, makes the steal, and goes right on the attack. And I love how versatile Terrence Ross is. A wing that scores, rebounds, passes, and defends it. And his athleticism is absolutely incredible. This guy can get up near the cup and can turn it on and score in a hurry. And don't let Edwards' position fool you. Anthony is built like a linebacker. That upper body strength helps him down low. Now, here's Sutt. Pass to Wagner. And that's a foul called on Franz Wagner. That is his first foul of the game. The second half has it gone nearly as well for him. He'd only had one before the break in terms of turnovers, but that number's growing as this game progresses. McDaniels, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Fultz, he's checked in for Orlando. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Here is Russell. 23 points in the game. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Now, here's Sugg. Started by Prince. Fultz, no good. Timberwolves trail by 11. Here's Russell. It's rebounded by Fultz. Now, here's Suggs. He's guarded by Russell. Offensive rebound. Carter kicks to Wagner. Prince against Fultz. Five to shoot. And it's Wagner missing. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says we understand there will be a backlash. We don't care about that. I'm a human being, a citizen, just like everybody else. I have family and friends still living in those environments. And I'm their voice. Kevin? All right, David. Thank you very much. Here's Russell. 25 points in the game. Bamba with the block. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Bamba. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Timberwolves. And a switcher also for Orlando. Lopez, he's checked in for Carter. Vanderbilt the pass to McDaniels. Just five on the clock. Towns. Lopez with the block. You know, it's blocks like that which make Lopez such a factor in the paint. Here's Fultz. Lopez right side. Good ball movement here by the Magic. Pass to Wagner. Misses from close range. Timberwolves trail by 11. It's Edwards on the wing. And they get it back. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Fultz. Fultz has got five rebounds tonight. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Wow, wow. He got whacked Two on shots. that, which shouldn't be wow. much debate there. Two. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Magic. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking shoot, a few shoot. as well. 
Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight is crashing the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. First one falls for him. And the Magic making a change here. Anthony's checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. To the right side. Here's Lopez. And yes, it's good. Lopez. Lopez has got his third bucket of the night. Oh, it took the bump there, powered through it. Go ahead, Mr. Lopez, I see you. Russell against Anthony. From 12 feet out. Russell, no good. Magic leading by 11. Wagner kicks to Anthony. From deep. Good on the three-point shot. Anthony's got 10 points in the game. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. The drive by Russell. I tell you, you've got to try to prevent D'Angelo Russell from getting into the lane because when he gets there, you are in trouble. For Minnesota, they have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Malik Beasley comes in for McDaniels. And it's Noel in for Edwards. And so Russell hits them both. So it's Orlando now. The Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. And that will be the first game of five straight at home. Driving inside. Vanderbilt with the block. Nice shot there by Bamba. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now, here is Russell. He has 29. Goes back up. Bamba with the block. Now, here's Fultz. Defense right on him. Dishes it to Anthony. For the three, Orlando gets it back. Here's Bamba. No good that time. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a 14-point game. Well, the more repetition he gets, the more floor awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved. Anthony. Here's Lopez. And he banks in the lane. Lopez has got eight points. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. Well, you love that there's no let up in how they're playing. They want to dominate every aspect, including second chance points. Read the pass to Noel. Six on the shot clock. Easily outside. Off the mark there with the three point shot. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. And now Russell pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And the slam dunk by Russell. Well, in the open floor, D'Angelo Russell understands he can be special. And here's Fultz. 12 points for him. Up top, Wagner. Here by Beasley. Here's the break. For the finish. And it's Beasley finishing it off. And that's a momentum shifter. A steal leading straight to the basket. Fultz the pass to Anthony. Now, Wagner. He's got 10. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Vanderbilt's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. And I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And with the length Vanderbilt has, Doris. 
he can be a handful, very impactful. Yeah, he can. That wingspan on a power forward frame, he's got the opportunities now to let that work pay off. This guy is fearless on the floor. Minnesota making some changes. Jake Lehman comes in for Vanderbilt. And Akogi subbed in for Russell. Then for the Magic. Jonathan Isaac, he's checked in for Muhammad Bamba. And it's Ross in for Vodka. Now here's Anthony. He's got 10. Back to Lopez. Plays it up off the glass. Lopez has got six here in this quarter. Well, we see a lot of emphasis on three-point shooting nowadays. But you'll take that look right there any night of the week. Noel passes to Lehman. Here's a Kogi. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And going back to his numbers from just a season ago, he was knocking it down at a 77% clip. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. And the second free throw, good. And this is one of the things they need to keep doing in the second half to get this win. Keep knocking down those free throws. They've been sensational here at the line. Now, here's Fultz. He's got 12. Trying to get open is Lopez. Fultz, no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Here's Noel. That one doesn't drop. And Orlando the other way now. They've led by as many as 14 points. And this has been an outstanding display on the board. And it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. Beats it. And it's sent back by Isaac. And they'll keep possession. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. This is one of those moments. Mistake after mistake. A comedy of errors. Culver's checked in for the Timberwolves. Vernon Gomez comes in for Josh Akogi. Magic leading by eight. Fultz looking around. A floater. Reed with the rebound. Just a cold shooting night. Needs to try to make it into the basket. Here's Noel, and he dunks it down. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. And that one is good. Fultz has got 14 points. Right now, Markel Fultz playing with a level of determination, grit, and perhaps most importantly, confidence. Here's Noel. That one misses. Excellent D there from Anthony. At the top of the key, Lopez. Anthony finds Fultz. From deep three-point range, can't get it to fall. And so it's the Orlando Magic in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They've played the better game so far, but their work is far from over. And we'll be back with you shortly.
And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your point guard. Survey the floor, serve it up on time and on target. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. On the court for Orlando, Isaac and Carter are manning the post position. Anthony is out there with Markel Fultz. And it's Ross in at the three spot. Orlando moving the ball around. From outside, off the mark. Timberwolves trail by eight. Hernan Gomez passes to Prince. Shoots over Isaac. And the shot is long. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Kicks it to Ross. Now here's Fultz. There's the feed to Carter. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got six rebounds in the game. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. And he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Outside Anthony. Pass to Ross. Now here's Fultz. Back to Ross. Three-pointer. The Magic again can't hit. Temporal shooting 34% for the field. That's not going to get it done. Here's Russell with the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Russell's got 36. Well, it's crucial that D'Angelo Russell keep taking and making these types of shots. Great confidence there, guys. Anthony. Ross on the wing. He kicks the faults. Anthony right side. The Magic again can't hit. I'll tell you, this has not been his game, and he's making it worse with shot selection like that. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And that one falls for Prince. Suggs, he's checked in for the Magic. And both free throws good for Prince. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan, and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Magic was saying to his team. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. And we'll see if they can make that adjustment. Thanks, David. Well, how about Jonathan Isaac showing a desire to share the basketball? I love it. 
Russell inside. Over Suggs. That one's good, and the Magic lead is cut back down to one point on the basket from Russell. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Now here's Anthony. Over Reed. And it's Russell with the rebound. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Reed. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Magic have gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Isaac passes to Suggs. He's looking for Isaac and finds him. Banked in off the glass. Wow, how about the focus from the big man? Jonathan Isaac, comfortable in the paint. Timberwolves trail by three. Minnesota calls timeout. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. some changes. Towns, he's checked in for Reed. And it's Edwards in for Beasley. Russell left side. To the middle. Here's Edwards. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. And he's got more than a few ways to beat you. Edwards will be aggressive when he has to initiate contact and create the N1 opportunity. And Edwards, no good on that one. And talented in so many ways. Edwards is focusing on two things. The refining of his shot mechanics and the sustained level of engagement. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Now, here is Russell. Over shot. They get the rebound. Here's Towns. The pass to Hernan Gomez. Goes up again. And it's Orlando with the rebound. Suggs with the ball. Passes it to Ross. Carter down low. Hernan Gomez on him. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's a five-point magic lead. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Here's Russell. That one off the back iron and out. The Magic have gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. Off target from three point range. Pass to Prince. Russell high post. Outside, Edwards. Here's Towns. Here's Prince. No good on that one. Isaac with some nice D. Magic leading by five. Ross with it. Now guarded by Towns. With some arc. No good from Ross. I'll tell you, everything went right in terms of execution. He just can't get it to go. Here's Edwards. 
Here's Towns, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Well, there's a willingness to mix it up on the glass, and that's a big plus for Carl Anthony Towns. Pass to Carter. The dish to Ross. Suggs kicks to Ross. Shot clock at six. And the foul called on Terrence Ross. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Wagner's checked in for Anthony. Timberwolves trail by three. Outside, Russell. The pass to Hernan Gomez. Edwards looking it over. Here's Russell with the three. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Well, picking up where he left off. His second from distance is half five overall. Over in the corner, Isaac. Once again off the mark, Orlando. For Minnesota, they've gone only six of 14 from the field in the fourth. Russell from long range. Carter pulls it in. Carter's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Ross dishes to Carter. Here's Wagner. Rebound, Minnesota. Russell's got four rebounds in this game. Prince, the pass to Russell. Not loose. Edwards kicks to Russell. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. To take the lead. Isaac with some nice D. Well, Orlando shooting 41% for the game. And here is Suck. Ross in the corner. Over Edwards. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Prince dishes to Russell. Outside, Edwards. To the inside. Here's Towns. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Suggs, Ross with a wide open look. The Magic again can't hit. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And so here's Orlando. Outside, Russell. Now, Hernan Gomez. Passes it to Edwards. Right side, Towns. Six to shoot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. Well, he's got moves and counter moves inside. Towns makes the defender pick his poison. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. In town, drops them both. Now, here's Suggs. Pass to Wagner. And here is Isaac. Suggs with the ball. The 
plays it up and banks it in. Yeah, that's about the worst defense I can imagine a team playing coming down the stretch. You know, we talk about execution offensively coming down the stretch. To me, it's as important defensively, and they didn't have it. And he gets it to go. Now a timeout called by Orlando. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. You know, he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. to present the New Balance player of the game, D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. Here's Suggs. It's a four-point ball game. Here is Ross. Pass to Suggs. Down to five on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. Lock up two there. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Now, here is Russell. And the pass to Edwards. Outside, Russell. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. You cannot be careless guarding D'Angelo Russell. This guy's so good at putting the defense in tough spots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. So Russell hits them both. Well, this is why you run your offense through him in important situations. You know he's going to deliver. The Magic trail by four. And here is Suggs to the wing on the left. Here's Wagner. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. Franz Wagner. That's good from Wagner. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. They lead by one. Shoots the three. Rebounded by Isaac. Well, Orlando shooting around 37% in the fourth quarter. The minutes starting to wear on them. Passes it to Wagner. Over Herman Gomez. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Outside, Russell. Here's Edwards. And it's Wagner with the rebound. 
Wagner's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. 122 left in the fourth. Towns with the steal. Now Russell. And he uses the glass on the lane. Russell's got 45 points. In huge moment, D'Angelo Russell comes through big time. I'm here with it. Towns on him. And that's a foul called on Franz Wadden. And that'll be his third foul so far. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Outside, Russell. He's off on that one. Good work defensively by Carter. Now here's Ross. Pass to Wagner. Let's it go from 11. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. See if he can nail the second. So he comes up empty at the line. Minnesota with the ball. It's a three-point game. Hernan Gomez finds Russell. Rebound by the Magic. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're behind by three. 19 seconds left in the game. Guys, your thoughts? And it's do or die time. Uh, they need a bucket here to stay alive. And it's either got to be a three-pointer or a score quickly and take the foul. But a three will do here. You've got to keep your composure and execute to get a quality look from three. And now we've got the intentional foul. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Shooting two. the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. You've got to show composure, and he comes through right when the team needs him most. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're trailing by five. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, your thoughts? No time to waste here. Quick bucket and a foul. Everybody has got to be in the exact perfect position defensively, and execution has got to be on point.
We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's a four-point ball game. Yeah, Two-possession game now. I mean, those were really important foul shots. Pass to Suggs. And they'll get another chance. Yeah, just nice hustle there. That work gets them the extra possession. So it's Minnesota taking the W in a close one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Carl. Congrats on the win. How did you guys secure the victory in crunch time? Uh, we fixed some mistakes we made in the first three quarters, and we just smothered them on defense. We tried to do everything we can to get them off the three-point line, trying to contest every shot. We just made it difficult. And that led to a win for you. Congrats. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long.